sorry about everything being scattered. Like I said, it's not really a tutorial. This is just kind of like a walkthrough of what I'm doing, you know, the ways that I'm coming up with uh, being able to do my broadcast and stuff as cheap as possible without having to pay a lot of money, you know. Um, and that's the reason why I started doing these because there's a lot of kids out there that are gaming and they're getting uh, used basically so they can go out and spend a lot of money on doing their videos only to get YouTube telling them they need to have 4,000 uh, hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers. That's only so they can make 45 cents a year. I mean, that's ridiculous. And in the meantime, shady groups like Freedom are freaking selling their free music if they pay ten dollars. Okay, so now we've got that ready. Let me check and find out if it's ready. store it gives me an option to 320 gigabyte hard disk which is Hitachi that's the computer I'm on right now or the 32 gigabyte thumb drive which is what it's on or the 500 gigabyte hard drive I of course I'm not going to use this on here so I'm going to back out of it and then be able to do it again. Now, on the hard drive thing too, I use 700 millibyte uh, discs, so for me, something like this would be a good idea to have a flash drive in order to uh, to do these things, uh, that was something that I didn't even think of. There's a couple of things that I didn't even think of, but after I do this, I'm wanting since I've already got the disc in, I'm wanting to go back in and do something real quick. Uh, I'm also going to uh, go back to uh, here and I'm going to check out a check out something on here that I had seen that I, I want to check out concerning the food. Spark, uh, super grub disc is what it is.
just been on the on the website and I checked it out. It sounded interesting. I haven't tried it, but I'm going to give it a try. And they point blank told me this is absolutely free. There's no uh, there's no uh, paying for it. It's completely 100% free. Now on here it says the Windows 7 Rescue Disk. So I'm going to go and check that one out. Yeah, that wasn't really the one that, uh, none of these were really the ones that I wanted to, uh, look into. I wanted to try that new disc to see if that would work out pretty good. Anti-super, or auto-super grub disc. Okay, auto super grub disk install installs a new boot entry into the Windows boot. Once you have reboot, just select you know boot in <coughs> super <coughs> grub disk and the program does everything alone so that you can recover your grub menu and thus your Linux boot again. <coughs> But I checked down in the description and it also works for Windows as well. So hopefully this works out pretty good too. Okay, there we go. I always put everything I can on my external hard drive because I don't like taking space up on the computer. Um, so, to save space on it, I always add it to the computer. 